Hello and welcome. Only three American pilots have shot down enemy aircraft from each of the Axis powers. That is, shot down a German, Italian and Japanese aircraft. For one pilot to have served in all theatres of the Second World War was unusual. The first to do this was Major Albert Baumler. His story is so unusual that it deserves a separate video. Second was Major General Levi Chase. His was a more conventional military experience, known as the one-man wave of terror. For his successes, he claimed 12 victories. Then there was Lieutenant Colonel Louis Kurds. How many fighter pilots can claim to have married a passenger on an aircraft they shot down? Louis Kurds was born in 1919 in Fort Wayne, Indiana. He joined the Army Reserve in March 1942, graduating as a pilot from flying school in December. He was posted to the Mediterranean Theatre, but was transferred from the United States Army Air Force to the 82nd Fighter Group, 95th Fighter Squadron, where he saw action in North Africa, Sardinia and Italy, flying a Lockheed P-38 Lightning. On the 29th of April 1943, he shot down three German Messerschmitt 109 aircraft near Cape Bon, Tunisia. On the 19th of May, he shot down two more BF-109s near Villa Sidro, Sardinia. In less than a month of combat, Kurtz became a flying ace. On the 24th of June, he shot down an Italian Mackey C-202 over Sardinia. His last two victories in Europe were two BF-109s near Bonavito, Italy. His luck ran out on the 27th of August 1943. He was the 63rd victory of Luftwaffe expert Ober Lieutenant Franz Schiebler. Kurds was captured by the Italians near Salerno and sent to a prisoner of war camp near Rome. A few days later, the Italians signed an armistice with the Allies. In response to this, Germany invaded its former ally. Kurds and some other pilots escaped before the Germans took control of the POW camp. Kurtz was repatriated to the US and returned to his hometown. He requested a return to active duty and joined the 4th Fighter Squadron and the 3rd Air Commando in the Pacific in August 1944, flying the P-51 Mustang. By November, parts of the Philippines were again under US control. His unit had the task of bombing Japanese bases and providing support to ground troops. On the 7th of February 1945, Kurds flew his Mustang 48 kilometers southwest of Taiwan, where he shot down a Japanese Mitsubishi KO-46 reconnaissance aircraft. And by doing so, he had now shot down aircraft from the three major Axis powers. On the 10th of February, Kurds, now a lieutenant, formed a squadron of four aircraft that departed from Mangaldan Airfield in the Philippines. Their objective was to investigate if the Japanese were using a temporary airstrip on the southern tip of Taiwan. No aircraft could be found and Kurds returned to the Philippines. Flying over the island of Bataan, the squadron split. Kurds and Lieutenant Schmidtke headed north, while Lieutenants Skelly and La Crosse headed south. Skelly and La Crosse located a small Japanese airfield and attacked it and also called for reinforcement. Kurz and Schmidtke headed south to join them. During the attack on the airfield, La Crosse was shot down and made an emergency landing in the sea. As the squadron circled, Kurz could see that his companion had survived and remained in the area to guide a rescue plane and protect the downed pilot. While covering La Crosse, Kurz noticed a larger plane preparing to land at the Bataan airfield. He flew to investigate and found the aircraft to be a Douglas C-47 transport with US insignia. He did think that it could be a Japanese crewed C-47 that had been captured. 
Kurtz tried to make contact by radio, but was not successful. He manoeuvred his P-51 in front of the plane several times, trying to get the pilot's attention and alter course, but the C-47 maintained its course. Kurds reasoned that it was better to shoot down the aircraft rather than allow the crew to be taken as prisoners of war by the Japanese. Closing to within approximately 20 yards, he shot out the right engine, then the left. The C-47 hit the water and came to a stop within 50 yards from La Crosse's raft. Two large rubber dinghies inflated and 12 personnel, including two women, climbed in. Kurds flew above the rafts and dropped a note that said, for God's sake, keep away from shore, Japs there. After seeing that they were safe, Kurds returned to flying protective cover. La Crosse paddled over to the two dinghies and tied them together and was told that the C-47 was lost in poor weather and its radio had stopped working. The C-47 was low on fuel, so the pilot headed to the island's airstrip, which you could see, unaware that it was now under Japanese control. Kurds returned to base due to low fuel and approaching nightfall. The next morning, he accompanied the rescue PBY to pick up the downed C-47 pilot and crew members including those two nurses, all of whom had survived the incident. To Kurt's surprise, he discovered that nurse Svetlana Valeria, with whom he had had a date the night before the incident, was a passenger. He was quoted as saying, Jeepers, seven 109s, one Mackie in North Africa, one Jap and one Yank in the Pacific, and to top it, I have to go and shoot down the girlfriend. She and Kurtz were married in 1946. Kurtz was permitted to display the American kill on his P-51. After World War II, he joined an Air National Guard unit at Bearfield and remained there until 1948. He participated in the Berlin airlift during the opening stages of the Cold War. Lewis Kurtz died in February 1995 at the age of 75. A replica of his P-51 Bad Angel is currently in the Pima Air Museum in Tucson, Arizona. Thank you for watching. Comment if you will. Like and subscribe. Thank you.